Hello all. Welcome back. When we talk about surface area of a solid, I'm taking a piece of paper. Uh, you know, if I ask you to find the area of this one, area of this one, immediately you'll say that uh, uh, area of a rectangle is uh, the product of a length and its width, that is length to width. Yeah, now if I am taking this uh, rectangle, you know how to find the area of this one. Now, I am rolling this one, I am rolling this one and uh, I am making, I am making like, uh, yeah, you can see that uh, it is in the form of a cylinder, it is the form of a cylinder. So, can I say that uh, the, if you see this cylinder, this is the curved surface area, curved surface area of the cylinder, is that equal to area of the rectangle or not? I repeat, area of rectangle is equal to, is equal to curved surface area of the, curved surface area of the cylinder. Well, so in such case, uh, instead of this one, may I state that uh, this one as a curved surface area of the cylinder cylinder is equal to if you observe carefully this is the length of the rectangle but when I roll it uh, this one becomes like uh, a circle agreed now this is the width of the width of the rectangle when I roll it, uh, it becomes as, it becomes as, uh, you see that uh, this is the height of the cylinder now. This is not uh, a rectangle now, it is a 3D figure now. It becomes uh, this part, you see that uh, this part which was the width of the rectangle, it was the width of the rectangle now, it becomes as, it becomes as uh, height of the cylinder becomes as height of the cylinder. Oh, okay, just let me use my stapler. Um, okay, now, well, okay, now, this is uh, in the shape of a cylinder, this is in the shape of a cylinder. You see that uh, this is completely curved surface area you see that this is the flat one that we will discuss a little later. So, <coughs> when we take the curved surface area, you have seen that uh, the length becomes as a circle. So, it is the circumference, circumference of a circle. Now, this width becomes you have seen that uh, this width becomes as a height of the cylinder, height of the cylinder, height of the cylinder. As you know that uh, circumference of a uh, circle is uh, 2 times pi times radius multiplied here height. So finally the curved surface area of a cylinder is uh, 2 pi rh. Now, if you are taking, if you are taking a cylinder, just now we discussed that uh, this part, which we call it as a curved surface area, this is a curved surface area of a cylinder, and uh, this is a, a circle, and this is a another circle. So, if you want curved surface area of a cylinder, the formula is 2 pi rh. If you want a 
total surface area then here we have to include we have to include here this circle this circle and the curved surface area if you see this one if you see this one this is the curved surface area plus one circle at the top one circle at the bottom if you take so one circle here one circle here and the curved surface area which makes the total surface area so i am writing this one it is uh, this part is area of a circle area of a circle plus uh, this curved surface area of the cylinder plus uh, another circle so area of a circle you see that here one circle here one circle so that uh, area of a circle area of a circle and uh, curved surface area then the total will be the total gives you the total surface area now back to the point area of a circle is uh, pi r square area of uh, another circle is uh, another pi r square plus c s a just now we learned here that it is 2 pi r h that one also i am taking so pi r square plus pi r square gives you 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h this is the total surface area of a cylinder can you see something same in these two yeah two is there two is there i can pull out as common pi is there pi is there r square and r i can pull r common so two is taken as common pi is taken as common out of r square one r is taken so you are left with one r and 2 is taken as common, pi taken as common, radius is taken as common, so h is left. So, TSA is equals to 2 pi r plus r plus h. There is nothing wrong if you can't uh, memorize this particular rule or condition, there is nothing wrong. You can take that uh, TSA is equals to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. Usually, I close my eyes and uh, I'll think of uh, the cylinder. When someone asks me that uh, what is the total area of a cylinder means, uh, it is CSA which is 2 pi r h plus uh, 2 circles, uh, 2 circles so that 2 pi r square. So usually I remember the total surface area as uh, CSA of a cylinder plus 2 circles uh, which gives me 2 times pi r square. So there is nothing wrong if you want you can take this one or else if you can memorize you can use this formula that's it